What is going on, everybody? I'm Howard Bender from Fantasy Alarm. Hope you guys had a nice Thanksgiving. Now it's time for the best part, the leftovers. And by leftovers, I mean the main slate for NFL Week 13 this Sunday. That's right. We got a 10-game slate, 11 if you play on FanDuel, and we're ready to win a GPP tournament. Are you? I think you are. Now, in order to win that GPP tournament, you need to get a little contrarian, get a little weird in your lineup. But it's not just about low ownership. It's also about the ability to really pop and to give you that ceiling that you need. So here are some of my favorite contrarian plays, and we're going to start the quarterback position with Kyler Murray. That's right. Kyler Murray from the Arizona Cardinals, he's $6,100 on DraftKings, $7,700 on FanDuel, and he's coming in right now with projections at less than 5% ownership. I get it. Nobody wants to use him right now. He struggled for fantasy production in two out of the last three games, and everyone fears Brian Flores in that Minnesota defense. But you know Kyler Murray's got a fantastic ceiling. He can throw and he can run, and that's what he needs to do in order to give the Cardinals a chance in this one here. He's had six games with 18 or more fantasy points, and at this price, that's great value potential. So look for Kyler Murray. Maybe it's garbage time late, but I think he's going to be able to do this all the way through. So get him into those lineups if you can and build off of that. At the running back position, I'm looking at Tony Pollard of the Tennessee Titans. 5,800 on DraftKings, 7,000 on FanDuel. Ownership projections have him coming out as less than 5% right now. He's like the Rodney Dangerfield of running backs, getting no respect even after another 100-yard effort. Everyone worries about the Titans being game flowed out and abandoning the run, but I don't see that happening here against the Washington Commanders, not with this Titans defense and not with Will Levis able to throw the football the way he is. Now, what I like about this one here is that the Commanders rank 28th in DVOA against the run. They're allowing the fourth most rushing yards per game with 13 rushing touchdowns on the season. The volume that Pollard is getting is going to help his cause even more. At the wide receiver position, is there anybody more contrarian than Quentin Johnston of the Los Angeles Chargers? 5,000 on DraftKings, 6,200 on FanDuel. Ownership coming in at less than 4% right now because nobody's using him after last week's five target, zero catch effort. But the Falcons rank 28th in DVOA against the pass. They also rank 27th against the X receiver, which is where QJ lines up 66% of the time for his snap. So listen, we were all in on him when he was catching touchdowns just a couple of weeks ago. Everybody's out because of last week. All the more reason to get him in there at a bargain price too. And then finally at the tight end position, give me Pat Fryer move to the Pittsburgh Steelers, 3,500 on DraftKings, 5,100 on FanDuel, less than 3% ownership projected right now. Listen, he only sees a handful of targets, but Pittsburgh needs touchdowns and they need to get Wilson, Russell Wilson, more involved with other receivers than George Pickens. Give me Pat Fryermuth here against a Bengals team that continues to struggle in pass coverage. They're allowing the second most fantasy points to the tight end. And I think Fryermuth can actually come up with a couple of really nice plays this week. As always, check out everything we've got over at fantasyalarm.com. John and Pemba's got the playbook. He's got the dartboard. We got all the position coaches you need. And I'll tell you what, if you don't subscribe, what better time than to do it right now during our Black Friday special? That's right. Fantasyalarm.com slash Black Friday, or maybe, you know, hit that QR code you see up there in the corner. We're taking a hundred dollars off of the annual subscription. That means you get everything that Fantasy Alarm has, all sports, season-long DFS, as well as betting content, all of our draft guides, all of our cheat sheets, full Discord access to all of our analysts for less than $16 a month. And the best part about it, you get the Black Friday special right now. In a year when your subscription's over, we're going to be running another Black Friday special. So good luck to everybody this week in week 13, and I'll see you all in the money this week.